That is some Christmas fashion right there. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now at Christmas time we usually see a huge array of ugly Christmas jumpers and I tend to find that it ends up being a competition as to who can get the ugliest Christmas sweater or jumper that they can find. So this year, instead of trying to find one, I thought I would make my own. I'm going to make the ugliest Christmas sweater in the world. That's the plan anyway. Okay, so I've already bought a just plain red jumper. I wasn't gonna make the actual jumper from scratch because I wouldn't have a clue how to, but I'm gonna embellish this turtleneck red jumper. And I already think it's ugly because it's a turtleneck and I absolutely hate turtlenecks with a passion. I can't stand anything around my neck. It just feels awful. I don't know how people wear chokers and stuff. It would drive us absolutely mad. But I think it's quite plain. It's pretty boring and I'm gonna jazz it up. So I think the first thing we obviously need on this is some booby coverage. So I'm going to glue some stars to my nipple area. I think that'll look fun. And yes, I'm not stitching anything or, I don't know, doing anything like that. Everything is going to be done with hot glue. Do you think that's where my nipples are? They might be a bit low down. No, I think they're in the right place. It looks about right. They can't be any higher up. If they're any higher up, my nipples will be touching my chin. And I think I want to add some details for the sleeves, for obviously the turtleneck, and then maybe the bottom bit too. I might do a fur trim around the bottom and the top, and a tinsel trim around the sleeve bits. Because I don't want it too matchy-matchy, because then it's not ugly, is it? Also, because this jump is super ugly, it doesn't really matter if the glue's shown, does it? It'll add to the ugliness of it. Right, great, one sleeve done. Do the same on the other sleeve. And people might think this is a waste of a good jumper and all of that kind of stuff and I'm defacing something and it's very wasteful. But you don't realize that I am actually gonna wear this for Christmas this year. You know when you do your house visits and go and see everyone and see all the family that you haven't seen in forever to say hello and make awkward conversations? I am going to start the conversation with my jumper and everyone's gonna compliment us on it and be like oh where'd you get your jumper from i'm gonna say well i made it i made it actually auntie doreen i don't i don't have an auntie doreen and they're all gonna be jealous and they're gonna want one themselves especially when they see the star tits but saying that as well i think around this time of year a lot of people seem to get quite pissy and angry and quite stressed and stuff which i find quite strange it's supposed to be the time of year for given and generosity and being nice to one another and kind to one another yet it just seems to have the opposite effect on some people you just tend to bump into rude people all the time and it also might be because you're feeling a certain way and you're quite stressed out i'm not sure i also know that christmas time can be quite difficult for people as well it can be quite a hard time of year or just the winter season or the holiday season so if you're one of those people that is kind of struggling and just feeling a certain way then i hope you are doing okay because i can understand why can be hard you know you might have lost family members or it might just bring up bad memories or something and it's not really nice i'm not sure whether i have particularly any advice for you because i'm not one you should be coming to advice for but all i would say is that it's only around for a couple of weeks two three weeks and then it's over and then it's all forgotten about so you just need to hang in and hope everything goes okay and you can just mentally survive this holiday season. I'm not particularly a huge lover of the holiday season and Christmas and stuff. I don't know, I just don't feel that excited about it anymore. Obviously when you're a kid it's a completely different thing and you're excited for presents but when you get older you're just like, yeah, I'd rather not. Hate, 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 hate. Double hate. Loads entirely. Okay, let's try some fur trim. And this is actually the fur that I was going to make my Russian hat out of in the 20 minute fashion challenge. And obviously I didn't get round to doing it because I ran out of time. So I'm going to use some of that now. But I do plan on making that Russian hat at some point, possibly in the next 20 minute challenge, whenever that'll be. It's quite big this. This could be a rug. Oh. Oh, oh, why? Oh, I just hoovered the studio. No. Oh, it's everywhere. What evil fabric you are. Oh, look at it, it's all over the place. I'll tidy it up in a second, I can't be arsed. Fluff absolutely everywhere to my nose. Right, let's glue this on.
gorgeous. Look at that. That's so fluffy. I'm not going to do the top bit. I know I said I was going to do a fur trim around the top, but quite frankly, I don't want any more of that fluff everywhere because it's just it's an absolute nightmare. Wiping under the floor. <laughs> Deal with it later. I could do with a lint roller, couldn't I? I've got a poor man's lint roller. <laughs> What a life hack. Oh, a million times better. Since I'm not doing the fur trim at the top, I thought I would give myself a jazzy Christmas light kind of necklace. Kind of like a pearl necklace. Wink. But with little plastic Christmas lights. Unfortunately, they don't actually light up, but they still look quite nice. Do I want it to go all the way around? Do I want it to go to the back? Do I want to do anything to the back? No, I won't do it on the back, but I'll do something else to the back eventually. Oh, that's fashion, that. That is some Christmas fashion right there. Oh, I'm gonna have another one, actually. That's the vibe I want for Christmas this year. Okay, now I need to start working on this empty space because it's very boring, it's very plain, and that's not me. So I've got a bunch of just random embellishments and accoutrements and I'm just going to hot glue them to this in... Do I want to do it in a pattern or not? I don't think I do. Patterns are fashionable and not ugly, whereas random and misplaced is very ugly. I feel like I need to do something different to the arms. I don't want to do all this beading on the arms. Well, beading. Gluing buttons to the arms. I don't know, I feel like it needs something different. I'm not sure what to do though. What else have I got? What can I hot glue to this? Let me have a look in the studio, see what I've got. I'm just thinking I might run some of this bead down and then that can kind of symbolize snow. What do we think? And then it just looks a bit different, doesn't it? I think that'll be nice. I think that's a good idea. Well done, me. It's gonna be incredibly hard to hot glue this on, but I'll try my best. <laughs> Because even ugly jumpers need to have some sort of theme, some sort of story. I don't know what the middle bit's saying, but the arms are saying it's snowing outside. There we go. I don't want it to be like a blizzard. I just want it to be like a flurry of snow. Do the same on the other arm. Right, it's looking pretty ugly so far. I'm not sure what I want to do to the back of it. What can I do to the back? Oh. I think I've had an idea. Okay, so since the front is looking quite busy and it definitely has its own kind of theme, I thought I would do a, not necessarily reversible kind of thing, but I would do a completely different theme on the back. Turn this around. Have to be very delicate so none of my embellishments fall off. So my idea for the back is to create a kind of flowy cape out of this gold ribbon that I've got. And it's just like a mesh, but I thought it would be quite different and interesting. And I might bring it past the jumper just to give it a bit of drama. Because everyone likes a bit of drama at Christmas time, don't they? I'm going to have to layer it on quite thick because it's quite thin, this stuff. Uh, can you really see it that much? It's very transparent, isn't it? I could do a combination of ribbons. So I could do this and red ribbon. Yeah, why not? It's an ugly Christmas jumper. Why am I debating this for? Yeah, so a cape out of red and gold and yes it's very matchy matchy in with the jumper but it's it's gonna look great I know it is Yeah, as well with Christmas. I know a lot of people kind of have the Christmas traditions of stuff they do at that time of year or on Christmas Day and stuff. And I don't necessarily think that I have a Christmas tradition. I wake up like I normally do, have my breakfast like I normally do. If it lands on a day where I go for a run, I still go for my run. Nothing really changes apart from I go and see people and socialize with people, which is something I rarely do. And then obviously I have my Christmas dinner. But other than that, my day is basically the same. I think last year I actually recorded a YouTube video on Christmas day, cause you know, I had, I had a day off work, so may as well. So let me know if you have any kind of traditional things that you do, kind of like your Christmas day routine. Do you wake up and have a book fizz? I know some people like to do that. Couldn't imagine anything worse. But I just think Christmas is overrated, I really do. I think I prefer like Halloween. Okay, I think that's a nice, flowy, ribbony kind of cape. I think it's definitely different from the front, so that's fun. I think I might be done. I don't think I want to do anything else to it. I think I've already achieved peak ugliness. So I'm going to wait for all this glue to set because I think that'll all just fall off if I wear it now. And then I'll put it on and I'll show you what the ugliest Christmas jumper you've ever seen looks like. <laughs>
Okay, so what do we think? I think it's quite nice actually. It's definitely ugly, but it's nice. I love this cape bit. This is, this is definitely a moment. One thing I will say though, when I was putting it on, I really thought I wasn't gonna be able to put it on because I've attached the fluffy bit and these tinsely bits to the most stretchy part of the jumper. So it's kind of sucked it all in. And I honestly, I feel like I'm gonna have to cut myself out of it. Like look, there's absolutely no give. I don't know how I'm gonna get it off. I think now that it's on my body, it's just on my body, and I'm gonna have to live this way for the rest of my life. The star tits are surprisingly actually exactly where my nipples are. I must know my body perfectly well, and I like the buttons, and I love this. I think this is definitely a feature that should be added to every garment, whether it be Christmas or not. So I 100% think I have achieved the ugliest Christmas jumper, but feel free to let me know what your thoughts are on my jumper down in the comments below. Have you seen a Christmas jumper as ugly as this or not. I could get proper frisky at a Christmas party, couldn't I? But I think my next video comes out on Christmas Eve. But if I don't see you then, I hope you have an absolutely lovely Christmas. I hope you get spoiled rotten. I hope you just have a peaceful, chilled, relaxing experience and no family pisses you off because I know it happens.